camcorders have been a commonplace piece of technology over the last few decades, well at least until the last decade. Today we live in a smartphone ruled world with all these Samsungs, HTCs, OnePluses, iPhones, 2 plus 2 equals 4 with cameras that can clearly display videos in 1080p and 4K resolutions. Many people have forgotten that these little things exist and people are calling them obsolete and not worth the money, especially now in 2018. However, today we're going to be looking into that. Are these things really obsolete? Are they still worth it? Let's find out. The camcorder we'll be using today as an example is the Sony Handycam HDR CX260. This camcorder, while a few years old, does represent what most of the sub $200 camcorders on Amazon and Best Buy can do. It does 1080p with 60 frames per second, which I think is a good standard for most camcorders today. I've gotten some good use out of this camcorder, and I'm happy that I could showcase this today, so let's get to it. One of the main questions to ask ourselves is, how? why and where will we use a camcorder see practicality yes practicality that is what made people switch from camcorders to their smartphone cameras it's more practical to carry around a smartphone pull it out and be able to take some short videos of whatever it is you want it's literally integrated into your phone however what if you're at an event where you need to take longer more dedicated videos it's much easier to pull out a tripod and a camcorder, set it up, and just start shooting a long amount of video rather than having to carry your phone around the entire time, especially because this takes up more battery on your phone, takes up more of your storage, which in most of our phones can be very precious, and it frees us to be able to use our phones while recording something through a tripod or maybe even in your other hand. Camcorders could still be usable for people starting YouTube channels like vloggers, who can easily use the reversible screens on these camcorders in order to record themselves and see themselves as they vlog without having to use their front-facing cameras on their phones. If you don't think you're the type of person who needs a dedicated camera or who'll be taking long amounts of videos at family parties or events, then maybe a camcorder isn't the most ideal for you. Now, one thing I really love about camcorders is the amount of features that it has on its body. This is something that sets it apart from smartphones because this is what makes a camcorder a camcorder. As I stated before, we have the hand strap on the side as well as the tripod mounts on the bottom. The expandable storage, we can drastically expand your storage on this device, let alone it has 16 gigabytes already. But you also have the reversible screen as we talked about earlier, which I love because when you're filming someone, they can easily see how they look like on your camera, which is kind of funny when you get the reaction. You also have a mic jack, an HDMI port, and you have your USB connectivity. And these are just fairly basic and common features that you can get on most camcorders today. You also have a lens that closes itself, which is great for protecting your camera, which you can't really do that on your phone. And you also have physical zoom and shutter buttons, which I honestly really like. No offense to phones, I love how you can pinch to zoom when you're filming something. But it's also great to have physical controls as well as a touch screen, which this also has. In my opinion, I think it's just more satisfying to be able to record with a camcorder. The additional weight keeps it more steady, the hand strap keeps the device much more grip to your hand, and the screen here, which is reversible, is actually very handy when you're showing other people how they look like on your camera to make fun of them, which I still find hilarious. Okay, so one tough part about comparing two devices and trying to see which one is worth more is that not all of us will have the same devices. There are so many other camcorders out in the market and there are so many other smartphones out in the market. In this video, I'll be using two devices, which is my S7 Edge and my Handycam, and I'll be comparing them with each other in this next part of the video. However, I'm just letting you know now that it will not be the same, or at least it probably won't be the same, for two other devices being compared to each other. This is just something to kind of generalize it and see how they stand next to each other and if the difference is really anything big. Now, one concern that I did have was that my S7 Edge can record into 4K, 
and the camcorder simply can't. Now I'll have a couple clips and I will indicate them that show the S7 Edge recording in 4K downscaling to 1080p and just simply recording in 1080p with 60 frames per second. So on to the comparison. So from that test I was able to see a few things. First of all, it's kind of obvious that the S7 Edge's camera is a lot better than the one on the camcorder just due to the fact that it can record in 4K. I thought the images were a little bit more vibrant on the S7 Edge's compared to the camcorder. However, where the camcorder shined brightest was zoom. If you look at the zoom in the video that we just watched, it's very clear to see. You could see the text up on that pole while everything that was shot on the S7 Edge once it was zoomed in was completely blurred. That is thanks to the extended optical zoom that you can get on this camcorder. And it's also pretty fair place when it comes to other camcorders to have extended optical lenses like that. I'm thoroughly impressed by how great the zoom is on this lens and it was able to keep all of the image quality that it had once it got to the top of that electrical pole. One thing I found very lacking about my Galaxy though was that I was actually having some software issues while trying to record. There was a little bit of lag, there was a delay between the time I pressed record and the time I started recording, and I think that the steady shot, that's what Sony calls it, or simply the, the stabilizer on the camcorder was a lot smoother than the one on my phone, at least for those clips. However, that might not be the same for you depending on what device you're using and the fact that my phone honestly is pretty beat up. Regardless, I still do think that the S7 Edge has the better camera when it comes to actually getting the images that you're seeing in real life. However, the camcorder does save yourself from minor annoyances because of the fact that it's simply just a camera. You won't have to really worry about losing storage and other software glitches that you don't traditionally get on something like a camcorder. So before I get to my final thoughts, i just like to mention just for a little bit about the comparison between camcorders and DSLRs. First of all, it's pretty much a no-brainer. The DSLR will outperform a camcorder in terms of image quality. As you can tell right here, there is a lot of depth of field and honestly that is because the light sensor on a DSLR is superior to the light sensor on a camcorder. In fact, I'm going to start recording on this camcorder right now to show you the difference. Right here you could tell that there is basically no depth of field when it comes to this camcorder. Now I'm not entirely sure how the DSLR looks right now, but I can, if there is more focus on my face then there's clearly no focus on the back and this should be blurry on the DSLR, whereas here on the camcorder there's really no distinct differences, it's focused on both me and the wall, which can be good because for some events, having a focus on the entire subject, including whatever is in the background, can actually be beneficial, but for filmmaking and in my standpoint, it's not beneficial. I'm, I'm looking at too many lenses right now. One weakness that the DSLR does have though is that for some reason, there are time limits on how long you can record on a DSLR and I don't really understand why. It's not because of storage because obviously I can store enough footage that is longer than the time limit. I just really don't know why. If someone can tell me in the comments that would actually be really nice. And also another reason why I do prefer DSLRs is because of the low light and how due to the bigger sensor inside of a DSLR, low light filming actually is a lot better on a DSLR rather than on a camcorder. All in all, I do choose a DSLR over a camcorder, but even though it is a good future investment, a camcorder is still usually 
a fraction of the price, which is always an advantage when it comes to comparing these products. Anyway, on to my final thoughts. If you're interested in getting a camcorder, they're usually not that expensive anymore, at least for a camcorder like this, like the Sony Handycam that I have. I've also seen a better Handycam, it's called the HDR CX405 on Best Buy, actually selling for about $180 right now. And I've also heard that you can get good refurbished and used Canon camcorders that are actually great for YouTubing for maybe $100 to $150 somewhere online. I haven't checked for myself, but I'm pretty sure that they're there. So for my final thoughts, I guess to answer this question, it's all really up to who you are and what you'd want to do with a camera. If you don't see yourself filming parties and events or being a YouTuber on a budget, then honestly, I don't know how you can justify buying a camcorder as opposed to just using your smartphone or if you have a DSLR at home. However, for me, as a person who is able to record a lot of parties and other events like that, having something that can record for long periods of time that is not my phone and that is easy to handle is advantageous to me, so in that case, I do think that it was worth the purchase. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Comment below, rate, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if I got anything wrong because I really want to know too. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and more content coming soon, I swear. Later.